What is up fellow bench warmers? This is your daily fancy cookie. Hey guys, what's up? We apologize for not putting out an episode yesterday at people well, today in particular because yesterday we put out an episode that was recorded a couple of days earlier. Today, we did not put out anything yet, but hopefully this goes out on time. My name is JJT with Pumish, Pumish Eric. Pumish, two days worth of fantasy uh, basketball. Today was a good, what, 10 game? Was it a 10? No, today was a three, three games late. Yes, uh, yeah, today's three games. Yes, today's three games late. Uh, but good games. We, we've had good games today. Uh, we've got some news too. Kawhi mm-hmm. back. How many minutes did he play? Twenty-one. I think he played twenty-four. Two. Twenty-four minutes. Did did do that well? Six points, five rebounds. But he started. Time. Which is he started? Good. Yeah, he started. Played twenty-four minutes. Didn't shoot the ball well. But he looked okay. I mean, he was he he looked like he's not f- favoring the knee or anything. So um, that's good news. Starting is a good news, but. Although it was still 24 minutes, I really don't, I don't see the difference between starting and him coming off the bench. I think <laughs> they just stopped being cute about it and just started him. But I think his minutes would be there, 25, 26, something for a while at least. It's gonna stay there. They're very deep, and I did not catch the game. Rusty. Did you watch the game? Yeah, I watched the game, and did he they look were healthy? He looked Enough. okay. I mean, yeah, he, he looked like he wasn't favoring anything. Uh, he looked heavy. <laughs> I, 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 we, that's what I, I noticed from him even before, even during the pictures, during the training camp, his Kathai, right? The people calling him Kathai like, yeah. because of the thighs. He looked big there. Um, I don't know if that's by design. We're not sports uh, doctors or anything. I don't know if that's, you know, they did that to protect the knee or whatever. I don't know. But th- that's what I felt. He looked slower slower heavier bigger but the shots did not fall also today uh the yeah. usual shots that he he makes so we'll see we'll see is this a sell high opportunity now for Kawhi? whenever he can sell is this Kawhi, the best time it, to sell yeah i think whenever he can sell Kawhi, you sell Kawhi because uh it's very unstable the the health situation is very unstable he's going to be load managed this whole season and his minutes will be also monitored the whole season. So whenever you can sell, it's not just a sell high. I think it's just sell, sell for the for a value that you'll be you'll be happy with, a value that you can sleep at night with. You know, and I mean, and what's there's no that value? Up. What's re- that value for you? I don't know. It depends on you. What you what, what it? I have because as I, as it's, I in I wrote, dynas- it's in a dynasty league, though. Uh, so I guess that changes a bit. But uh, in a redraft league, what's a good value for you? No, I'm just saying uh, he was picked second or third. Sometimes second. Sometimes second round. In, in deeper leagues, yeah. maybe your second in, round pick. Yeah, sometimes in latter, third. latter drafts, yes. Latter yeah. part. Uh, so, but I don't, I don't think you're going to get that value. Yes, exactly. That's my point. Uh, if you're owning him and you picked him there, do not. Do not think of it that way anymore. Uh, you have to let go, accept the fact that he's not going to be top 40, top 50, maybe even top 60 player this year. So a value you can get maybe is, you know, injured players maybe that you're more comfortable with. That's very easy to 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 get. I mean, we have a trade in FBW involving Chris Middleton. Although, mm, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the Chris Middleton owner would a value Kawhi because Chris Middleton should be back but he's not back. We don't know why. <laughs> I mean it should he should be it's I think it's the risk only for him. So at yeah. this point he already went to the G League, already practiced, but they still keep on uh ruling him out. So maybe the owner of Chris Middleton is a little impatient already. Maybe or you know, maybe he, he's down, he's a little behind in the standings. Yeah. Um, because that's the that's the only time you sell it for a player like Kawhi, right? Maybe, but, but that's Russell it's, Westbrook. It's also weird if you sell 
if you sell your Middleton for, is it for a kawaii? If you sell it for yeah. a kawaii, that's um, that's a big risk. Uh, I, you know, if I'm gonna take Middleton, yeah. I'll, if I'm gonna give up Middleton, I'll probably give him up for kawaii plus another guy. Possibly, yes. Depends on how how you, your negotiations go. If the owner is doing very well with with Chris Middleton out, maybe he doesn't see the point of yeah, doing that. That's move. another thing. But if he's already struggling and he thinks Kawhi is gonna play maybe another game or two and Chris is not yet back, maybe 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 Tobias because Tobias doesn't have a very good reputation because he's yeah. kind of old. the ceiling is a little <laughs> lower than yes. Uh, we talked about uh, Russell Westbrook a while ago. I think you can make that move. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty, that's I, a, that, that's, that's an point. easy trade. That's an easy trade to me. <laughs> well, but, but that's my point. It's up to you if you can sleep with it. You know, getting Westbrook for Kawhi. I mean, is that something you're you're already that's happy with? Headache for headache, but you will choose the lesser of evil. Yeah, yeah. Which something is the like lesser that. evil? Uh, at yes. least you know Westbrook is playing, playing well. Yeah, even off the bench, right? Even if their team is losing, um, even Conley, Conley, Lowry, I mean those players are older veterans. Their owners won't be as you know. I'm a fan of this guy. This guy is exciting, yeah. whatever. So, I mean they contribute. They contribute. Don't don't get me wrong. They contribute, but still, it's gonna be easier to negotiate something like that. You know, than, yeah. like some someone older. Someone older who's just really boring. Not Brook Lopez. Not Brook Lopez old. Brook Lopez is doing a Benjamin Button. Thing you know, Brooke Lopez. <laughs> aging in the plus, I think the Kawhi, the one, the what the, the Brook Lopez owner would not accept a deal like that. Yes, no, no, they won't. Not they for won't. Kawhi, not for Kawhi. Not this for is, Ka- you know, if you're gonna sell Brook Lopez, you're gonna sell really high for Brook Lopez, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, so, so I definitely not for Kawhi. Kyrie, well, let's talk about shoulder for shoulder is about to come back a little more boring. Um, player but is he a ad at this point i got lots of questions about schroeder actually didn't know he was gonna come back but then i got suddenly got two or three messages about him so i i checked and i said oh he's coming back i think thomas bryant also i'm not yeah. too sure but they're they're both close so, to back. Bo- both of them but the, the, the lakers are struggling so that's the only reason i would really look at these two guys because they would need as much help as they can but i said he's not an ad in 14 or 12 team league. Number one is very inefficient, Schroeder. He doesn't really help you a lot in this in like steals or, or or good field goal. He doesn't do that. He has high turnovers. Plus, they have Pat Bev. They have uh, Austin Reeves. They have Kendrick Nunn. So they have players there. Not not good players, but they're still players. I mean, they're still giving the minutes. So if Schroeder gets 22, 23 minutes, will that be enough? I don't know, so uh, I'll rather wait. Just remember the there. last time Schroeder was really good fantasy wise, he was what in OKC. Yeah, I think that was a bubble, right? If I'm not uh, mistaken, is that the yeah. bubble time? Yeah, I think that was a bubble. Or at least that year. That or, year, that year yeah. during the bubble. Yeah. Uh, and that time he was probably one of the top guys there in that team, right? The last that that's the last. I remembered about Schroeder being very fantasy relevant. He went the, to Boston. He went to the he, when he was in the Lakers. He was okay. I think he, he was decent. I mean, he was not top one hundred, but at least one fifty, maybe top one fifty. Then when he went to Boston, and then when last year in Houston, when he was traded to Houston, he was just really bad. So, yeah. but he was good during the Euro Euro Cup thing. Euro basket, so he was good there. So that's that's something good to see. But he's not played for a while, so he's rusty. F- yeah. Funny thing is, I got a question about him because an owner stashed him in the IL. All of a sudden, they declared him as um, available. So he lost mm-hmm. his questionable tag. So now he can't move anybody. He has to drop someone. And he showed me his roster. All players there are kind of good. I mean, the, the yeah. worst player there was Levert. So, so that's not even <laughs> that's not even worse than Schroeder. Yeah, and he was asking what to do, and I just said that uh, in situations like this, uh, I'd rather you wait for Schroeder to play. Don't drop Levert or don't drop. I mean, the other players there are really way better. So I said you just 
you just don't stream first as we talked about before yeah. just don't stream first let just let him play maybe somebody gets injured in your team or whatever then you can just make play the switch or, or yeah. if you don't need yeah. to right if it's a short term injury because the problem there is that you know it's going to be harder <laughs> if you get stuck with Schroeder uh, uh, well that's true also <laughs> than a top player right so uh, just don't move if your team is strong just keep it uh, like the way it is uh, Kawhi uh, Kyrie Kyrie. Good news. Good news. Kyrie. Yeah. I I wrote this this there's... these two guys always come come hand in hand, right? Kyrie and Kawhi. You can add Ben because Ben played well today. I can, can just yeah. put, put, put them all together. Kyrie, I said only one non-basketball incident a season. I'm right, right? I I, I mean the last well, so far it's very early in the season. Well, that's true. But the last time, I think it was his birthday. No, no, wait. But when's his birthday? <laughs> his I don't birthday. know. But did, didn't did he... Was it last year where he took some time off? Or that was two years ago? Last year was for his birthday. I remember it was for his birthday last he year. Took he took some time one off, week. right? So no, yeah, but that was, off. you know, two issues he had to deal with last year. One is the that one. And then the second one was the vaccine issue. Oh yeah, yeah, the vaccine. But that's a special case. I, I, I would put that in a special yeah. case situation. Well, maybe, maybe his birthday would be another, another problem this season. Maybe he'll gonna take another week. But overall, the good. This is very good news. I mean, the fact that the NBA, NBA Players Association were well, the whole Galen Brown and everybody was standing up for him and actually wants to file grievances against the NBA and Brooklyn for not for suspending him to begin with means that uh, they have his back and with that pressure will let him play Brooklyn will let him play so I think he'll behave I think yeah. he'll behave uh, I'm confident he will for a while I don't know how long it will take but for a while in Twitter hopefully I mean, a long time for a say, long time yeah, I, I don't know your answer, the Lamelo or Kyrie rest of the season uh, question that was asked to us by a follower in Twitter. What was your answer there? I didn't see. I didn't see your. I answer. think Lamelo. I didn't What's answer because I just referred to your. Yeah. I, I probably just referred. So I we want to we want to hear uh, as a Lamelo owner, what would you actually prefer after that injury, the second one? Though I mean, it's really not a second one. It's the same ankle he injured. Before, um, I suddenly felt that this might not be the year for Lamelo. Um, I I just feel like this might be a year wherein managers would probably be disappointed. Not because of his poor play, but more of because of bad luck. Uh, imagine he just played two games. Yes. So what's right? your take, Lamelo or Kyrie? Lamelo. Uh. I'm still leaning a little bit on the Mendo. Okay. Um, but yeah, I just it's feel close. like he won't. Yeah, yeah I think it's going to be close. And, and the I, fact I wouldn't be surprised close. if it's, you know. <laughs> the fact that it's close just means that Lamelo stock really has yeah. created it has fallen. That's just fallen. me. I mean, I'm, you know, I have some teams. I have a lot. I think I have four teams with Lamelo. Um, some are struggling. The others are okay. They're they're surviving, uh, at least winning some weeks, losing, but not too big. Um, so if I drafted well with Lamelo, then I'm gonna be fine, right? But if you don't didn't draft well with Lamelo, if you don't have the players like uh, maybe a OG or Shea with Lamelo, if you have players like Shea or OG with the Melo who are playing really well, then you'll probably be fine. Um the thing is, I think this is not gonna be. I think we're gonna be disappointed. That's just me. Um, going to that, what 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 you said. Actually, people are not talking about Charlotte's record. They're the second worst team in the East right now. Charlotte is a very small market. We know that. We we know Jordan. You know, uh, we know he's the owner, but it's a small market. More with if Lamelo's gonna miss another two three weeks from this injury again. By the time he comes back, they might have the worst record in the East and near the worst record in the whole NBA. So tanking, people have been talking about Indiana, OKC, Utah, and all those in San Antonio. But Charlotte has not been talked about enough in terms of tanking. And that is my maybe one thing that 
could really uh, make make owners disappointed this season with Lamelo. So I could see where you're going there. Uh, not just the injuries, the tanking, and everything. It might. Well, I I haven't really thought season. about the tanking. It's just that I feel like this is not a good year for uh, the balls. Yeah, I mean that, that, Lonzo is not having a good year. You know, right? He started true. off saying, "Yeah, the the knee is not yet there." But and you know, Lamelo started off the year with you know uh, an injury. So I just think this is just a gut feel, the same gut feel I just felt with you know Jokic. So hope I'm not sure if it's right or wrong, but uh yeah, Lamelo ball injured. I don't know how long he's gonna be out. In the last time he was out, what what was that? Six weeks. Yeah, but that was worse though. Although this was a re-injury, but yeah. it's a freak injury. But I think I think not too long. I I, I hope it's not too long. Uh, it didn't look that bad. It's just that maybe the ankle is not yet that stable or not yet that healed. So that's yeah. why it hurt. Not but, but I strong, think, I Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be the, like the last time that long. I don't, I don't think so. I don't uh, think so. so let's hope it's not going to be that the same duration as the last one. Uh, ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. Yeah. Let's talk about Ben Simmons for a bit. A double-double. A near triple-double. And I perfect had, from the field. Yeah. So we've been talking about Ben seven Simmons. Of, seven of seven. Um, yeah, seven of seven. Perfect from the field goal. Who are they range. against today? Um, Portland? Portland. Yeah, right. Portland. They lost Just there, good, right? They, no, won, they won. They won. They, they won, won because of Royce. They, they came back. And 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 uh, Ben Simmons was a big factor. They hacked the Ben. They hacked the Ben the last three minutes and 40 seconds. They hacked. Hacked him and the crowd was heckling him, but he went three out of four, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see, you can see the confidence coming from you know from Ben Simmons and his teammates were cheering him on when he was making the free throw. So that's good to see. That's good to see. I, could, good I, I saw a different Ben Simmons today. I saw him really engage. I don't know if it was because of the article that came out that the the Nets are already so frustrated with him, or, yeah. or because of KD roasting the, his teammates. I don't know which is which, but. This is a very good sign. This is a very good sign. Uh, interesting Simmons. as well to wait for is that I think they have Philly next. Mm. Not next. I think they, you know, in the next couple of games. Okay. Uh, in this weekend, I think they're gonna have Philly uh in their in their schedule at Philadelphia. So okay. that's the real where the real test would be. For Ben Simmons, I think it's gonna be this coming uh, next few days. Uh, I I I he, forgot which day, but probably that's gonna going be out to be <laughs> with a back injury, back soreness, back soreness. No, but this is a good this is a good way to you know start. I mean, a uh, good yeah. game, solid game, uh, double double, best game of the season so far. At least there's hope, right? There's hope for him. I I like what Jack. Vaughn has done with him. Uh, he has converted him to a backup center. Mm-hmm. Uh, although they did play with Claxton together for a couple of minutes today, but mostly he's a center. As Vaughn said, when he rebounds, he just pushes the ball down. Doesn't have to pass. You know, he's a center, but he can. He's a center point guard. Yeah. So he, it's see, I, I, I have a good feeling about Jack Vaughn. I f- feel like he's doing the right things. In Brooklyn, I'm not saying they're gonna suddenly contend because of him, but at least it's better than having Nash there because uh, nothing was happening, nothing was changing with Steve. So with Jack's one, at least there was there's just changes, there's just experiments, which is good for Ben Simmons, bad for Nick Laxton, which I wrote today. Um, it looks like a timeshare mm-hmm. with 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 Simmons. So uh, well, still okay. I mean, not not saying you drop Laxton, but not the great start. Claxton, as we saw the yeah. first few games. Yeah. yeah. Uh, another player we, before we go to the positional changes, the Aaron Fox. Uh, we've been, I think you've been getting some questions about the Aaron Fox. Yes. Selling yes. the Aaron Fox. What's the value there? Um, he's top twenty this year. Top twenty. I'm not expecting you to get a top twenty for the Aaron Fox, but. I said Fred Van Vliet. Actually, that's a move. I have a, I have one Fox, the Aaron Fox, and I'm trying to do that. That is the only player I could think of. Uh, for a I, point guard. For a point guard. It's hard to, to trade a point guard. guard for a point guard. 
for a center, right? I mean, that early in the early round center. I, no, but I, it's also hard to get a manager to accept a sell high for the same position, positional player. Yeah, th- that is also true. That is also true. Um, maybe Paul George. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe Kawhi's uh, entry would make the manager think twice. Yeah. But I honestly, at this point, do not know if Paul George or Fox will end up higher because uh, I don't have that much trust in Paul George <laughs> shooting this year as well. And Fox is shooting 50, what, 51%? Paul George just eight. had a 10 turnover game the other day. Ex- I think it was yes. yesterday, right? Yes. So, so I don't think he can get Booker. <laughs> that's, 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 that's out of the question. I would not be confident with Bama Debayo also. So, you know, I, I can think of Van Vliet. I can think of Gobert, maybe, if the manager is not as confident with him. These guys, those range. Those range. But yeah. I won't discount the possibility that Fox will be top 30 this year. I think that is that is a possibility. He's been that playing well. Sacramento's yeah. been winning. He's got good role. a good uh, support, supporting cast with Sabonis uh, and Keegan and Malik Monk. So let's see. This might be the bounce back to Europe Fox in fantasy. Um, positional changes. There have been some changes, uh, positional changes in, in Yahoo. I we'll have to show that. Someone, someone commented, we, show, we have to show some graphics. We're working on that. We'll work on that. Uh, what yeah. are the major changes that we ben have? Ben Simmons, to- number one, uh, now has point guard, shooting guard, small for uh, point guard, shooting guard, power forward. That's weird. I mean, shooting guard. And I don't think he plays shooting guard, but well, yeah, who's going to yeah? He might have a center soon. He might have a center soon. So that is good. Everything is looking good, looking better for Ben Simmons. I think the biggest change here would be Zion and Jabari. They got center eligibility. I think that's, that's going to help especially Jabari's owners, me. <laughs> I mean, people are saying, what's the difference? I mean, yes, you can use him at center, but it's harder to find centers. Let's just say yeah. that he gets 10.7 rebounds, two blocks as a forward compared to a center. As a center, you know, it, that might be enough. I mean, that might be enough because you might not have uh, as much choices at the center position. So that helps. Zion also. Zion, Zion, that's a big change also for Zion. Yeah. Plus, if you have a full slate, yes, easier to move them it. around. If they have more positional yeah. eligibilities, right? Uh, yeah. And you won't have a problem switching players or putting players or, you know, uh, if sometimes there could be situations where in the best available player on the waiver wire is a center, but since you can't move around your your other players, right? You can't, you know, uh, move them around. You won't be able to pick that because the available position, for example, is a forward or a guard, uh, something like that. That's so, why a guy like Ingram, Brandon Ingram, added a shooting guard. So he was small forward, power forward. Adding a shooting guard is very big because he's not yeah. eligible eligible for a shooting for guard. guard and guard. Yeah. Yes. So that's very that's that's a big big uh, help to his value. That increases their value. Yeah. Even Banquero. Banquero got a small forward. I, I I did wish he got a center. But I, I just don't like these types of changes in the middle of the year. I mean, yeah, well, that, 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 that is true. But some of these are uh, accurate. Like Franz Wagner getting a shooting guard. I mean, he's been playing shooting guard most of the season. He's been so playing point have, guard right now. Yes, exactly. Maybe they give him a point guard soon. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, they, they, a lot of manage a lot of managers are commenting about the players they want to also get um get some el- changes in eligibility. So let's see. Maybe Yahoo changes that. They want Jokic to get point guard to center. Yahoo, do yeah. that. <laughs> do that. Do that. Uh, but you know the the return of Jamal Murray might not. Uh, he's still the point lot. guard, man. Still the point guard. He's just bringing down the ball. He's doing what Ben Simmons, they want Ben Simmons to do, but, you know, uh, in slow motion. <laughs> There's a difference. Slower, just a difference. slower, slower but, but better too. Effective. Yeah. But better That's too. True. Uh, last for today, we had a big trade uh, just approved mm. today. 
uh, it involves some first rounders. Yani, so let's do some trade analysis. We'll do trade analysis, um, not before we approve any trades, just to not show bias, but after we approve some trades, uh, in our leagues. It was a, a trade that involved Yanis and Tetecompo. So Yanis and Jordan Poole for OG and Dejounte. OG yeah. and OB and Dejounte. Good trade. Good trade. Selling high on OG and then buying low on Yanis because Yanis has been struggling. Yeah. Uh, yesterday's uh, quick hits, I put him in the trending down. Yeah. What did he show yesterday in the free throws? I don't I know think... the free throw, but I think he just scored what? 20, 90. I think it's a low. He did score well. The past three games or four games, he's been around 50 something percent in the free throws. And um, that's on volume attempts. Yeah. He had 10 of 20. So much, one game. so much for Yanis improving free throws. Yeah. Really bad. Really bad the past few games. And our friend, John Nicholas, was messaging us about it because he's, he asked him in Roto. And the past three, four games has dropped his free throws all the way down to the last place in Roto. And he has really been thinking about trading Yanis. So, well, we're in head-to-head. -head, majority of you, at least, in head-to-head. -head. So, you can still compete, of course. You're probably punting free throws. But uh, so far, as I said, I don't know if it's the knee. I don't know whatever it is. It's not been the same Yanis the past few games. It is something to monitor. It's a buy-low moment, I think. And this trade reflects that. It's a buy low on Yanis, a sell high on OG. So it's a perfect combo. Perfect combo. Yeah, that's the, that's the usually, that's that's the type of trade that usually gets approved uh, when some people buy low and sell high. Who the, wins it for you? Um, I think the OG In the wins. I think the OG. Yeah. I think the OG I, wins. I agree. Um, uh, uh, Poole well, has been because, struggling. Poole has been struggling. Yeah. Than, you know, yeah. Both him and Clay have been struggling, and a lot of managers are also frustrated with Clay. I don't know why. What's the frustration with Clay? Maybe the bad shooting field, the field goal, but he's a three point um, shooter. I mean, Clay has been bad though. Clay has been bad this year. Um, well, when if you listen to us pre during the draft season, we really didn't Stay recommend. Away. Yeah. Drafting Clay, he's 214th this season. Um, his stats are, I mean, shooting poorly and then nothing else. He's 0.5 steals. That's not usually Clay. 0.5 steals and then nothing else. No assists, no rebounds, no nothing. But that, that's that's you overvaluing him during the draft. No, uh, yeah. that's that's the thing. He's really not there anymore. Not not the old Clay. When with the Yanis trade, yeah, I agree with you. It's pool. Pool is the key there. If Pool is what he is right now, 150, 145, 150, it's basically just Yanis for the two. <laughs> right? Yeah. So yeah. that is a big uh, change. That's a big, big factor there. So I agree but, with you. But OG it's still side. early. Uh, I think OG right now is top first round. First round value. Close, close, yes. If not for if not first round, close to there. Yeah. Yeah. So uh and I think he won't be falling too far off. I think top 30 is a possibility for OG. Uh, I'm actually surprised DeJounte is still, I think he is still first round value. Close to first round, yes, around there. The late first round area. It's late he, first round there. He, tape, he, he kind of slowed down a bit. Uh, but, you know, but still good. So I think both OG and Dejounte wins there in that trade yeah, analysis. Yeah, very We've, big. Very we big. have lots of trades that uh, I think there's another one in the same league that the got rock trade sub this, that got submitted today. The rock trade yeah. was uh, the AD Anthony and Davis. I was that approved already? Anthony Davis. Uh, not yet, but but I think we'll approve it. I think we'll Anthony Davis it. and another one for Carl Anthony Towns. That's the that's the deal that he offered me. That's the deal. Who's he the offered plus me. one there? Nah, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to look for it. <laughs> yeah, the, but but there's that trade. Looks like the trade guys are in Pomicious League. Yes, yes. 
No, I, I just can't put everyone of all of them there so to give Kumish more room, more work. <laughs> but no, I know that the uh the mailman okay. players they are really good. They really they really like trading. Yeah. What's yeah, the that's... what's the rock trade? Were you able to see it? Uh, I didn't I, I I didn't check it yet. Wait. Um Rock really wants to trade uh AD. What league is Rock in? The captain. The captain, let's see. The captain here. Okay. Oh, I think it was approved already. All right. I uh, yeah, I think it. I approved that. Though. I just forgot. Yeah, maybe next time we'll check it. All right. Anyway, we'll talk more about more trade analysis in the coming days. And as always, please subscribe. We are closing in on 500 subscribers. 13 more, guys. Lucky 13. Uh, 500 subscribers. Our goal is 1,000. Let's, let's go. Let's hit it this season. And as always, for those who have subscribed and those who are commenting, those who are listening, thank you for supporting this podcast. Like, you know, many people say it's free to subscribe, guys. It's the only way for you to support us. So hope you can do that. With that, we'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily fantasy. Bye.